ADHD is one of the most common childhood neurodevelopmental disorders. It is usually diagnosed when you are young and often lasts into adulthood. Children with ADHD may have trouble paying attention and they may have impulsive behaviors where they think without acting about what their result may be. They may also be overly active. Often children who have ADHD may daydream a lot, forget or lose things, squirm or fidget, talk too much, make careless mistakes, have a hard time resisting temptation, have a lot of trouble taking turns or getting along with others. Aren't you here for a piano lesson? No. You don't, you don't play flute. Stop. What? Pony. What? Pony. Stop. 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 You don't need this. You, you don't need this. You play piano. Stop. Just. The main difference between ADHD and ADD is that ADD is actually a type of ADHD. In ADD, children are predominantly inattentive where they may have a hard time focusing or be easily distracted from delayed routines. Children with ADHD are predominantly inattentive, but they also are accompanied by a hyperactive and impulsive behavior. These people will fidget a lot, talk a lot, and they will have a hard time sitting still for like a meal or they may run and jump constantly instead of focusing. Mr. Bruce was talking about the 4-4 four, four step, but we had to switch it to 5-8 time. So I was wondering if you can go outside and show me. Can you come outside and show me real quick? Because it really helped me during the show if you showed me. I'm having troubles. Cassie? Hello? Hello? Is that good? Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Common causes of ADHD can be genetics, brain injuries, environmental exposures such as lead, alcohol and tobacco use during pregnancy, premature delivery of a baby, and a low birth weight. ADHD affects children of all races. According to the last census, whites were affected 9.8%, blacks 9.5%, and Latinos 5.5%. Males are almost three times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD than females. However, both genders are affected. The average age of a diagnosis for ADHD is seven years old. However, the symptoms typically appear between the ages of three and six. ADHD isn't just a childhood disorder. Today, about 4% of American adults over the age of 18 still deal with ADHD on a daily basis. Where does one turn when they suspect their child is suffering from Attention Deficit Disorder, or ADHD? Most families first turn to their family physician or pediatrician for help, which is a good first step. However, a reliable diagnosis of ADHD is best made by a trained and experienced mental health professional who specializes in helping children with ADHD. These are usually child psychologists and psychiatrists, as well as developmental or behavioral pediatricians and neurologists. Although there is no direct treatment for ADHD, a combination of different talk therapies and medications can help to minimize the symptoms. That is so weird. Okay, keys. Where, where are keys? Hi, Cassidy. Hi. Hi. Squirrel! There's not a squirrel. Squirrel. I guarantee you there's no squirrel.
Here, come with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Why well, you are alive? Where are my keys? Oh, <laughs> Girl, keys. Wait, what? Keys. Let's go. Keys. <laughs> Where, where did you have them last? Monkeys. Where did you have your keys I want a last? Pet where did you have your keys last? Uh, monkey. Oh my god. Wait. Think about it. Oh. Ah! Why did you put them on the ceiling fan? Oh my god, you're not a monkey. ADHD is a common behavioral disorder in today's society, but it is found much less frequently in girls than in boys. The recent research done has investigated how large the behavioral problems are in a group of 40 girls. Some of the girls only struggled with ADHD, another group had ADHD in a learning disorder, and a third group had ADHD in another DSM Access 1 diagnosis. One girl had both a learning disorder and a DSM Access 1 diagnosis. A similar group of 55 boys were tested to compare their results. Girls in the Access 1 and ADHD category had the most significant behavioral problems. Girls in the ADHD and Learning Disorder category had fewer behavioral problems. This pattern was not the same for boys, suggesting the hypothesis that girls have different behavioral phenotype for the occurrence of ADHD with or without learning disorders than boys. A particular ADHD case study conducted by Barry Belt proved that prescription drugs like Ritalin are not the only way to overcome ADHD. Equally, if not better in treating ADHD, is the CEPD multifaceted treatment approach anchored by neurotherapy. This treatment approach worked in ridding David, a 13-year-old 8th grade student, of his ADHD while also improving his educational abilities, communication skills, self-image, and overall happiness.